Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are we doing? It's Porky here. But you already know that, that don't you? Because that's why you've tuned in. Right. Uh, thought I'd do a quick video regarding what is going on with MTK Global at the moment. Now, a lot of people who will be watching this are hardcore boxing fans and keep emailing me every day. What's happening with MTK Global, Porky? Why are they not coming out and telling us what's going on with certain people? So some of the emails I've got, they're asking what's happening with Liam Smith? What's happening with Liam Williams? Is he getting his world title shot? Is Liam Smith going to get a fight? Will he get a trilogy with Williams? Will he get Kel Brook fight if it happens? I mean, Kel's saying he wants to fight Eubank, but what about Liam Smith at 154? Why not? You know, what's happening with Billy Joe Saunders? Now, Billy Joe Saunders... Billy Joe Saunders has been calling out Canelo and Triple G since he won world title in 2015, Billy, off Andy Lee. We're now in 2021. Who's Billy fought in that six, five, six-year period? Who's his best win in that period? David Lemieux over three years ago. So what, what's happening with Billy Joe? Is it an MTK Global fault why Billy Joe couldn't get a, an elite fight when he was with Frank Warren and an elite fight now is with Eddie Earn? Or is it Billy Joe's fault? Or is it Frank and Eddie's fault? Because somebody's at fault and nobody's coming out saying a word. Now, Tasha Jonas, she's with MTK. Why couldn't they get the Terry Harper fight made? I mean, they've got all these fighters and supposed to have all this power. It's supposed to be running game and game changes and this is how you do it and blah de blah but I don't know. Done well for Yazza Dickens, done well for Josh Taylor, doing well for Carl Frampton. But there's more to boxing than them. They've got a load of people. Is it a middle management problem? Are people doing their jobs at MTK? Or are we in a position where nobody dare say a word? Probably the latter. But I'm going to say something because the fans are unhappy. Like I just said, I must reel a few names off there. What's happening with Paul Butler? He's won six on trot, hasn't he? Six on trot. What is he, a top 20, top 25 boxer guy in the world? What's happening with him? You know, he's won a world title. He's fought for another world title. He's won six on trot. I don't know. Are they advising him or does Joe Gallagher manage him? I don't know, but... Jose Burton, he couldn't get Bugley only fight. And that were only at British level. So why why aren't these people getting the chances? I don't know. It's uh I don't know, which brings me to Tyson Fury. Last summer, Tyson Fury came out and said, Thank you, Dan the Man, meaning Daniel Kinnan. He put him in the link with MTK Global, saying that he'd made the fight for him. Now, the Joshua fight, Joshua Fury was a done deal, two fight deal. That was last summer. February next week. Tyson Fury's been out a year next week, hasn't he? He hasn't got a date. Shrouded in mystery, isn't it? Is it? Has he got legal issues with Wilder? Is he fighting Joshua? All I'm seeing is a lot of talking and no fighting. That's what I'm seeing. Seen a lot of people spinning a lot of stories. So what is going on with MTK and, and Sky and BT? What's going on? Why are people not getting fights? Like I said, with Tyson and Billy are talking a good games, aren't they? But they're not they're not fighting the the fights that we want. We want Tyson Fury, Joshua. Don't have to be a two-fight deal. If it's worth a rematch, we'll see a rematch. Don't be greedy making two fights when first one could be a stinker and who'd want to see a second then? So that you're going to take double bubble offers. Let's see a fight. And if it's good, well, fans will demand it. But there's a lot of talking going on, isn't there? And not enough people getting at it. It's the same old story, isn't it, with boxing? People chatting all the time. So is it MTK at fault? Are they at fault? Is there a power struggle? 
between Matchroom and MTK, is Eddie freezing them out because they want dates with Sky. Is Eddie paranoid that they're going to get dates? I hope they do get dates off Sky MTK. Maybe they might do a job properly, but we're hearing a lot of chat, aren't we? We're not enough action. So I don't know. I don't know what to make of it all. I don't know what to make of it all, to be honest, but it's exciting times ahead. This is why we love this sport so much, Johnny, said Adam Smith once, Mr Bean. So the fans need to be vocal and ask these people what's going on. Ask MTK Global on your Twitter, on your social medias. Email Sky Sports, there's a complaint. Uh, if you've got a complaint with Sky, you email them as a complaint, Google it, get the Sky complaints email and ask them what's going on, why are these fights not getting made? I can't do this on my own. All right, I can't do this on my own. It's uh, it's not good, is it? So other people are going to have to do it. Only fan power is going to get these fights what we want. All right, we don't want to see a load of rubbish on pay-per-view, do we? You know, like Dylan White fighting men who are 40-odd year old. We don't want to see that, do we? We want to see men in the prime like Fury and Joshua. Billy Joe and Canelo, men in their prime, fighting men, or so we're told, but they're not fighting. Billy Joe's had, what, half a dozen fights since he won world title. What's all that about? Billy Joe's calling out Canelo and Triple G and that. He fights Martin Murray. Yeah, Martin Murray were an MTK fighter, but come on, Martin Murray was dug up. Slipped in in rankings, wasn't he? What's all that about? Yeah, it might be good business, but it's not good for fans, is it? The only good thing about that fight was that it weren't pay-per-view. But it was a smelly fight, wasn't it? It stunk. And that was that's my opinion, it stunk. And it's not what the fans wanted. It was an awful fight, and we deserve better. They keep telling us one thing and doing, and doing another. The left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. So, MTK Global... You're more than welcome to come on my channel and have a debate with me and I'll get a couple of other people on if you want and they can fire questions at you and I'll be in the middle, piggy in the middle. But somebody needs to come out and make a statement. So, but like I said, it's all shrouded in mystery, isn't it? Nobody dares say anything. So it's been left to moi, to me. So let's have some good fights on. That's all we want, good fights. Because people are getting fed up and investing in boxing. Because it's now turning into, it's a bit of a circus, really, isn't it? We're a bit of a laughing stock at the side of MMA, UFC, whatever you want to call it. It's become a joke. All right. It's a joke. So, all right. Let us give a shout out to Defro Customs, Rav Machiavelli. And a big shout out to uh, Fist Consult Fist Consultancy at Sheffield. That's a company owned by Jason Barker, big pal of mine. So I think that's about it. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. Hope you're well, AJ. Big shout out to Dennis Hobson. How are you doing, Dennis? Saw your press release the other day. <laughs> hey. hmm. Keep on trucking, Dennis. Keep chipping away. Something will happen. Get some new signings. All right, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. But don't forget, there's a complaint email for Sky Sports. Google it, complaint email for Sky Sports. Fire them off. Tell them what you're unhappy about. It's no good telling me. Tell them. All right, for MTK Global, there you go. Second time I've said it. I'd like to see you come out and make a statement or come on here in a debate with me. What you got to be frightened of? I'm not frightened. You come on here anytime. More than welcome. All right. Peace out. Don't have nightmares.